So I wanted to tell you this. The believer must not only receive good news, but also give good news. If you're only a receiver of good news and not a giver, you're like the Dead Sea over in the Middle East. The Dead Sea is dead because it receives water from the River Jordan, but has no rivers out. So it just stagnates. Stagnant water is dead water. Christians should not be stagnant. Amen. If you're not a happy Christian, I dare to say it's because you're not letting any water out. Really? The happiest Christians are the soul winners. Why do you think Chris is so happy? Why do you think people that are sharing their faith always got this big smile? Like Paul, he's always smiling about everything. Why do you think that is? It's because you're giving life. Yeah. Uh, let me read you something from Watchman Nee. He was a great apostle to China particularly, but he said this. He said, let me say the channel of life has two ends. One end is open toward the Holy Spirit, but the other is open toward men. The water of life will not flow if only the end toward the Lord is open. The other end, the end toward the world, must be open too for there to be any flowing. The reason many do not have power before God is due to their either being closed on the end toward the Lord or on the end toward sinners. Then he said, China can still be one to Christ if we open our hearts to men. Nowadays, it's America can still be one if we open our hearts to them. He said people have no power because they're closed somewhere. I say they're also not happy for the same reason. Amen. It's a vicious cycle. Yep. Yep. If you're sharing Christ, you're happy, and then you want to share Christ. Mm -hmm. If you're not sharing Christ, you get a little... Oh. <laughs> and then you're not happy and then you don't want to share Christ yeah. so how do you break out of it which comes first it doesn't matter either get happy and then share Christ or share Christ and you'll get happy so if you ever feel a little dried up and stuck and too salty like the Dead Sea Make yourself go to the grocery store and shove those tracks in the beer boxes. <laughs> spend an hour if you have to, or spend an extra five minutes. It doesn't really matter, and watch what happens to you. Amen. And you'll be happy. Go, go to, just go to the grocery store and pick one person to share Christ with. How do you know Jesus? Even if they say no, you'll feel good. Amen. I mean, excuse me, even if they say yes, even if they say, I don't want to talk to you, you'll still feel good. Yes. Yeah, I did something for God. Right? And you'll be happy for at least an hour. Yep. Yeah. Now you can go home and get back into your little stuck, depressed place. Or you can go to another store and share Christ with another person. Stay happy for two hours in a row. That's how Paul stays happy at work all the time. He's always finding the way to lead someone to Jesus. Same. That's how it works. Happy people are soul winners. Hallelujah. One of the Proverbs says, As arrows in the hands of a mighty man. Remember that? so are the children of the youth. It says, happy is the man that has his quiver full of them. Amen. And that's referring, you know, we talk about parents. You're happy if you have a full quiver of children, right? Well, I think it's also true in the spiritual sense. Happy is the man that has his spiritual quiver full of spiritual babies. Yeah. D.L. Moody said, it's only the happy life to live for the salvation of souls. Amen. Amen. So thank you for doing that. Those of you who haven't yet done it and yet, you know, stepped out, uh, believe me, it's very scary. <laughs> but believe me, it's intimidating for every one of us. They're not, they're not believing me. Listen. You think you're the only special one that's intimidated. And you look at everybody else thinking, oh, they just must have that gift. They're just so exuberant. You know, I'm not like that. Uh, neither am I. Neither was anybody else the first ten times. 
You got to do it at least 10, 20, 100 times before you can break off of that scared stuff. 